This is the mount which I chose for my telescope, my Celestron uh, C90 Maxatov telescope. This is an AZGTI mount and tripod. The thing about this mount is that it's very light. Uh, by light, I mean it's not cumbersome to assemble or hold it. At the same time, it has the uh, the ability to follow the rotation of the Earth, compensate for that, so you, you, the object that you're looking through the telescope will remain at the center of the view. At the same time, it has a, a Wi-Fi inside it. You don't need the internet or anything, just Wi-Fi inside it. It connects to your telephone through the app that you will install. And that uh, enables you to actually f tell to the mount to which direction the point the telescope. 10,000 ob objects, I think, are in that list that you can do with this. It's a sky watcher. It is made of uh, made in the People's Republic of China. Uh, I was telling to my colleagues the other day that uh, uh, China has made the world a richer place for many people around the world. And you can see it. They make affordable things at a very good price. And they export it all around the world. A sky watcher, be amazed. I'm going now to open this and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, I'm use this. I'm going to use this uh, knife to open it, but I have to use both hands, so I'm just using both of my hands to open the telescope. I have to use both my hands using this knife, so I'll just uh, um, show you when I open it. Okay, I've now opened it. Uh, now let's see what is inside. Uh -huh. It's a little bit difficult. There's the boxes, I must say, it's double layered. Look, normally the box are just one layer of this one. This is double layered. It's so stiff to open it. But that means it gives a good protection to whatever is stored inside it. So let me do that. And okay, I, this it has three other boxes inside. One longer one, one smaller one, and two smaller. So this longer one, I suppose, is the stance, actual the mount itself. And this one, I think it must be the actual uh, motor, motorized uh, mount. Let us see what is... Am I right or not? Okay, I'm now putting this down and go for the next one. Okay, one was out, second one is out, third one is out. The fourth one is out, and the fifth box is also inside. I keep it inside until the last minute. Okay, this part is the heaviest, and I suppose that is the actual st stand mount itself, not the stand the mount itself. So let us see. Uh, let me open this if I can. Oh, nice. Oh, it has a little instruction manual. This is the final product, how it will look when you stand it and assemble it. Okay, very well protected foamy material, about two centimeter thick. Then it comes inside it, the actual mount. This is the altazimuth mount, so it's not equatorial, so it doesn't need those kind of polar alignment and uh, you know cumbersome counterweights and uh, all those heavy stuff that you have to hang uh, work it in the dark. It's very simple. That's the reason about it. Very simple. There's a dovetail bracket here that you actually mount your telescope there. And uh, this is the actual mount. The bottom of it is here. It goes on the tripod. Let me bring it out. First of all, there is a connector here. Okay, that's one. Then the assembly is here. I will just take it out. Yeah, myself, I'm really impressed. It's really well uh, shielded, protected. Look, well padded. Thick layer of the protection for this. And it's quite chunky. I think it's around one kilo, one and a half kilo. Quite have a weight on it. Okay, now I've taken it off this foam, which is molded to the shape of it. I put this uh, foam here, very well, impressively 
chunky it's very strong and chunky oh it has a lot of attachment on off snap power hand control oh that's hand control is when you want to use a uh, one of those sink they say that's a uh, <coughs> hand control but uh, we don't need with the mobile probably will not use that but it's nice to have it if you don't want to use a mobile for that and there's a power um, and this is a snap what uh, i don't know what that means but there's a wi-fi also in here patent application patent numbers it mentioned here is invention there's a led light which shows that when it is on and uh, this is the bracket that uh, you can tighten up the telescope or turn it around i suppose that's the where actually the telescope will be attached impressive and simple and at the bottom of it is where the it goes on top of the tripod so this is the mount let us see uh, what is inside the rest of the box okay now I'm opening this and uh, this is the second box. What is inside it? This is it's interesting to know what is inside. Oh, that's the second part, top part of the mount. The tripod, uh, to keep it short and small, uh, they have added an extension, vertical extension, which is this chunky piece of plastic and metal that comes on top of the tripod and then the, uh, the actual altazimut control motor will be installed on that so it will be like this these other boxes are empty they're just for keeping this space uh, filled with something so the the heavy stuff will not move around very good thought and uh, now uh, let's go and see where is the actual tripod the tripod is uh, impressively uh, small and I'm going now to use this knife to open it I will do it when uh, I'll show you when I've done it okay, now I have cut the seal and let's just bring the it's impressively again double layered cardboard and inside this is a bubble wrapped piece of equipment with the oh that's a triangular tray and this is the actual what is it yeah the tripod impressively made of good metal chunky good material stands like that around two feet at this unfolded stage at this uh, yeah unfolded stage it's just two feet Oh, it's impressive. I think this is really good as a photographic tripod also. Uh, let's just see if I attach these things on top of it. Anyway, that will be another video. At the moment, I'm just showing you what is inside. So this is the tripod. You can, I suppose you can extend the, yeah, you can extend the stand, the feet of the tripod. It's a twisty one. The twist extend then uh, twist in the reverse direction it tightens it so overall i'm really impressed with this uh, quality of this uh, it looks chunky it looks relatively uh, heavy able to hold the telescope and above all it's electronic it's belong it belongs to the 21st century what we want is not something from the 19th century 21st century inventions, a patent proudly displayed on this.